frame making his championship debut on loan from North Carolina. Of course, if he had stuck around, North Carolina was going to go to the championship too. Francois slips it through. Chance off the crossbar and in. Ian Saro! RGV with a shocking opening salvo. one nothing on the road. Transitional in behind Orr. As they moved up high, compress the field, get 30, 35 yards and in, and add layers to the attack. I said to Wilma Cabrera, said to you, if you can get into that space and all of a sudden horizontally start to provide options, that's where you can go and sting this defense. Notice the depth that they provide. Jorge Hernandez. Delivers, ball knocked down, and swiped into the net. The response is instantaneous from San Antonio FC. My question is, is he in an offside position? That's really close, I'll tell you what. Cole Frame at the bottom of your screen as he slips in behind that touch right there. It looks like he just kept him on. Just steps right in front of the defender. The slide over by Riton Dale doesn't happen. Kip is the top goalkeeper in NAIA at Corbin University on to Indy 11, where he finally started to sneak into the 11, no pun intended, more consistently. And up in San Antonio out of an emergency basis. Look at this. Rita Zuhir scores. Three goals in two games. The Canadian is on fire. 2-1 San Antonio. Still stout on the defensive front, but the numbers that they add going forward are pretty impressive. The one-on-one -on -one situations, the way that they play off of each other. Danny Oluwache is grabbing the headlines, but do not sleep on Rita Zuhir. The man who hails from Montreal, he was on loan with the U23s, on loan now with San Antonio, two last week. Pittsburgh this season, I think it's just the one loss, a whole bunch of wins, so if he can get Tampa Bay at home or Charleston, he'd be very happy. Bounces through for Milano, Lowski! When he's quiet is when he's most dangerous on his first shot of the game. He has his 11th goal of the season, and Orange County's ahead. Here's the ball played through, and it's a simple ball. A little bit unlucky, to be fair. Bounces off the back of Ordonez, but Milano Lossky is so quick to control it, get it onto his right foot and tuck it into the far corner. It's a clinical finish and comes from a simple long ball played from the back, I think, from Owen Lamb. Josef from Aachen in Germany feeds the ball through. Doherty cuts it out, header by Goodrum. McCabe goes in for the challenge with Jan Ekra. Here's... JJ Williams familiar with this field. Good ball here to Jennings. Jennings on target. Jennings scores. The deadlock is broken. JJ Williams it was with the assist. And the goal for Cal Jennings is ninth of the season. It means we have a score of FC Tulsa nil. Tampa Bay Rowdies won. Williams from a scoring perspective, but he does a great job here creating for Tampa Bay, driving centrally, gets his head up, aware of the run from Jennings, and Jennings, his speed, he showcased that all evening, but able tonight, good run, curls his run, stays on side, understands the goalkeeper, where he is. Nelson in a good position, but Jennings just generates enough power to make it really difficult. Tete not able to get there in time and recover. Conor Anthony's there to foil the danger. Conor Anthony does really well to find goal scorer Jennings. Jennings finds JJ Williams. Williams will feed the ball here to Lacava. Lacava's inside the box. Lacava left footed shot. Good save, Nelson. Just for a moment. And still the ball's loose. JJ Williams for two. JJ Williams has scored two. Against his former club in the 59th minute, JJ Williams has made it 2 0 to the Tampa Bay Rowdies. The switch. The play continues to develop. Initially, really good shot in from Jake LaCava. And just the effort individually from J.J. Williams to keep the play alive, ultimately winning the ball back. Here's another look at the replay. An unfortunate touch from Tete, who's had a really good game throughout the evening. But J.J. Williams was all over it, able to win the ball back quickly, chip that one over Nelson.
Goodrun then from the spot will take this one right footed, takes a breath, up he comes and strikes it. Easily into there, his eighth of the season. FC Tulsa are back in this one with 15 minutes to go. It's FC Tulsa 1, the Tampa Bay Rowdies 2. Shackled throughout this game, but one moment creates the penalty kick opportunity for himself, steps up calm and absolutely buries it. Connor Sparrow goes the other way. You see him initially pick up the ball, rallying the troops. As Moses Mintz to the rookie, gets another started left back tonight. As Corcoran looks over the top, Nwagbo trying to get to it first, did. His back heel kept it in play. What a play by Nwagbo. Agadello to Martinez! The hustle from Nwagbo Martinez, the finishing product. Birmingham wastes no time to get this afternoon started. They kept this play moving. Back heel with his off foot, right to a teammate, played across, and Enzo Martinez smashes it into the net for the first goal of the night. Brett against Zimla. And Nico Brett scores. Zimla got a piece, but not enough. And Birmingham Legion's great start to the day continues. 2-0, Birmingham. Hit it very firmly. Zemla gets a lot of it. But when a ball is traveling that fast, you don't have time to adjust your hands or your arms or anything. And that one glances off and goes in the roof of the net. And also Juan Pablo Torres. Here's a turnover off the McGlynn pass. Valo sends it towards the goal. McGlynn clears it out. Valo gets it again. Right around Lewis. Drops it back, a shot and a goal. Joaquin Rivas with his fourth goal of the season off the setup by Valo. This goes beyond and before this. It's Tristan Hodge who gives it away initially and then can't do anything about closing down his opponent. The shot comes in from Rivas, it's deflected who scored the first goal of the match, will take the PK. Rice tries to spread wide. 2-0, Miami. It's a brace for Joaquin Rivas in the 59th minute. Certainly hasn't happened. Amo for Torres is the first change. Amo for Opino. Cabado for Torres. Macanguila coming on. Barrera. Ball played in the near corner. Okinyod for Stanley. Wide open, shot and a goal. And it's a hat trick for Joaquin Rivas. Here in the 84th minute, beautiful setup. And Joe Rice had no chance two ways you can look at defending or attacking I just want to look at the attacking here this is an outstanding goal the movement the run the options the cutback yes Hartford haven't picked up Rivas which isn't the greatest idea when he's on two goals been very impressed with Tyler Bagley just the movement the understanding went to drop off watch out oh it's a bad giveaway it's an open goal can they take advantage they can Simonson gets his goal and Detroit City is off the mark There's two things here. If you're Zali, you need to be so sure there's, there's not a player in the, the premise of Zuluaga. And Zuluaga needs to become a bit wider outside of his own 18-yard box. As Max Rodriguez picks up his head, take nothing away from the composure. Left-footed, low, Cicerone's chasing it. Does it stay in play? He clips it in, the header on goal, saved. Lagrasse again, it'll squeak in to goal. Just enough by Matt LaGrasa. Chaotic, but for the visitors enough, they take the 1-0 lead. But look at Jack Good, decides to go the other way, puts it into the space, Cicerone reads it, beats the keeper, pulls it back. LaGrasa, the first one, keeper saves, second one just gets over the line, and Faroe's looking at his defenders saying, well, I saved the first one, couldn't you get the second one? Goalkeeper is beaten to the ball, but well done, Cicerone, absolutely brilliant, and just persistence pays off for Sacramento Republic. 
Brilliant pass over the top. Flag stays down. Khalil El Medkar. One on one. Going around the keeper. His shot stopped in the first time, but the second chance is good. Persistent from Khalil Al Medkar, and he puts it home to equalize for the hosts. Fantastic finish from El Medkar. His third in three back to back games. Look at this ball coming here. Fantastic ball from Husser Landry. It catches Jared Timmer in the wrong position, but he does so well at Med El Medkar. Vitiello saving the first attempt, and it still falls nicely for El Medkar. Back of the net. Three goals in three matches. This man's on fire. On fire indeed. First one blocked, second one lucky. Both teams now. Luis Felipe. Now back. Timmer. It's Lopez. Fires low one. Finds Lewis. Looks at goal. Fires and puts it in. What a finish. Zico Lewis. How about that? Given some space on the edge of the 18, and he makes no mistake, and they take the lead again on the road, two goals to one. A little bit of time on the edge of the box. Timmer just moving it around. They were looking for opportunities. Ball comes in. He turns no one on him. So he has a chance to hit it with his left foot. It bends away from the goalkeeper, Hugo Ferro. But when you're given that sort of space to a player as good as Zico Lewis on the edge of the box, that he can turn, line it up, and you can see the bend from behind is a bit. Pass intercepted. Some of the first touches, Christian Pirano breaking forward. Plays a low one, Arshamed, oh, first touch. It works in the end, maybe not what he intended. But super sub antics yet again from Luther Arshamed. Two goals in two matches. And is that the insurance goal they need to end this road trip with another win? This ball just being set up by Christian Pirano, runs at the defense, lovely ball in. Yeah, perhaps he was trying to control it, perhaps he did just toe poke it in the back he'll of the say, net. He'll say he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. But it's a good finish, but it's a great run at the defense by Pirano. And this is... And this will be the first corner of the match for the Toros. Taken by Davila. Oh, and a nice flick on for the goal! How about that? The Toros in front, one nothing. Lindry's up to the moment, and what did we say for Rio Grande Valley? They have to be successful on their set pieces. Guess what? That's a spectacular set piece from Taylor, the creator. And take another look here. And the placement on this is just spectacular. All the Lindry's has to do is redirect, and there is just not much that Rios Novo can do with that. It's past him before he... Bobkovich has his buyout clause reached. He's gone. Yuma's injured, and we're back to where we started. Yeah, it turned into one of the deepest parts of the team to probably the most. All the way to the far post and in! What service, Mark Navarro! All the way to Calvillo, waiting on the far post. Locomotive has its opening goal. And what did we tell you about the leg of the Spaniard? Right on target to Eric Calvillo. First goal since July 29th, the 16th minute of that defeat on the road at Rio Grande Valley. And you can tell what it means to these guys. They want this streak to end more than anybody here in this stadium this evening. Eric Calvillo, that, is that for Enzo? I think that one was for Enzo. No foul, Liam Rose, play on. Despay a little upset. Liam Rose, you could, I think he thought the whistle was coming and it didn't. <laughs> play on. Sitting and waiting. Again, just touched in. That's all he needed. Gwenzotti with a beautiful bit of service from Blake. Gwenzotti and Indy silent to this point. But just a little kiss. And the Uruguayan puts it home to tie the match. Had some pretty good opportunities, have India 11, and just haven't been able to get on the end of them. Sebo Velasquez to Guinzati in the first half comes to mind. But there you go. Kind of creating a, li a little bit out of nothing, but the possession that they create with the system. Unfortunately for El Paso, they're on the other side of it this time. Ruining that Aron Gomez miss. If not, Petrovic, who has the ball again here. A beautiful toss across. That'll make it all the way through again. Nobody in blue to pick it up. But here's Navarro. He'll score! Mark Navarro Ow! with a bullet! 
tie lasts all of a minute and a half. Baby Goodness. on the way. So I'll take that back. It's two touches, and honestly, Trick will probably want to have that back. But through his hands, but I mean, it is moving. It was moving. They launched off fireworks after uh, that goal. Fireworks of their own, a rocket off the right foot of Mark Novato. Just on the stroke of the 55th minute, Mark Navarro giving Locomotive the lead. Here comes Indy 11 again. Low driving ball, skips through and in. Chapman Page on the end of that. Snuck through everybody. And we're tied again at two. 64th minute goal by Callan Chapman Page. Here, an equalizing goal, and mentioned, hey, Benny makes a great save to force the corner kick, but unfortunately, that ball probably shouldn't get through there, Duke. It bounces in between three or four members of Locomotive FC right to Callum Page. A little ball watching, a little Suleiman Asante watching because the Ghanaian made a move toward the ball. Seemingly involved uh, a lot more, I think, in, in Indy's buildup after scoring his goal. Budati through all the way up and rolled in for the third goal. Douglas Martinez, 3-2 Indy 11. With still 20 minutes to go, but what a ball there. Diaz had a foot on it, but it sneaks in. Great service from wide, the us off the top of his boot, and he'll be disappointed. I think he would like to have that one back as Trick went on Navarro's goal. Cue the celebrations. You're really watching the movement from Justin Portillo in the midfield. You understand that he is the conductor to this entire orchestra, so you can look at the addition of Borgelin, the overlaps of guys like Josh Suggs and Santi Moar, but he is the key. Cross leaping header, snap down and in! Adrian Perez, his sixth of the season in just the fourth minute. Grant Stoneman, who plays a beautiful ball back across. But we said coming in, do not sleep on Adrian Perez and the form that he has been in for this loyal squad. Usually on an inversion, usually with speed, certainly in one on ones, but they will take it. Another corner, another header. It's in, and New Mexico pulls level. A remarkable goal scoring start, Kyle Colonna. We saw from San Diego Loyal and Nate Miller's squad, but it's not that far off. It's still a ball to the back stick. The difference is here. He's actually just trying to redirect this on frame. And the good news is Harry Swartz has slipped right in front of Coke Vegas, clouded his vision. No touch to it. Vegas can't get over. Not enough rotation over that left hand shoulder to get in quick enough. And a slight misdirection. But it gives you an idea of how he feels about the attacking ideas up top or lack thereof tonight overall because he also pulls Evan Conway. And that's in Ronaldo Damas. Ball across. First touch. Toby Moshabani. Moshabani hammers it home. San Diego. 2023 iteration of Loyal as a false nine down underneath, back to goal. Just watch him skirt the top of the 18. That slowed run right there, perfection. This is an incredible run by Tumi Moshibani. Notice he doesn't obstruct the overall move by Damas on the back post. He leaves enough space for Perez over the left shoulder. Seven added minutes. Moreno got under it. Moreno! New Mexico level in stoppage time! Quill mentioned it, and now you have witnessed it. The greatness that can be Amando Moreno on full display when it matters most. 
his seventh goal in the USL championship season in quite dramatic fashion. How does he bring this thing down? Moving away from the ball, watch him contort his body. Takes this right off the upper collarbone area to drop this thing in the oncoming path and then to maintain momentum. Some injuries that cost him chunks of this season, Musa. Only making his seventh start of the season, eighth appearance overall tonight. Williams, end line, cuts it in front for Foster! What a start on the road for the switchbacks! Malik Foster nets another! Starts from back to front. McGee drops in, but look at the overload. This run from a deep line position for Speedy Williams is so hard to mark up. And as he draws out Danny Barbier, there needs to be better in terms of rotation between the Oakland Roots. The back line is retreating, so there's a soft spot for the cutback. About eight yards out, Malik Foster makes no mistake about the finish and the dance moves to go with it. We'll work on that later. And he wants to not only score one, but score more. Going to so many missed opportunities this season. Phoenix game on the road, he felt they could have scored a few. Just to point out one of them. Now here's Memo Diaz the other way. Diaz! That's why you need some insurance if you're the switchbacks. Memo Diaz ties it at one. Ability to unlock opposition. Trayvon Reed, he brings in Scungers. That leaves a big gaping hole on the back end. Memo Diaz doesn't need a second invitation to pull apart and get himself in that final third. Plethora of options. He picks up his head. He has Palais making a central run. He says, I see you. I don't need you. And take nothing away from the finish. 10 out of 10 for the celebration. Malik Foster, who had that goal back in the fifth minute. Williams squeaks it through for Skundrich. McGee on the turn to Hada. Back for McGee. Brilliant buildup from the switchbacks who have the lead again. This one back and show his team say this is what we're capable. Chapman into McGee, into Tejada, back to McGee. Not even a courtesy dive for Pablo Chip because you can't. He hits it so clean, he hits it so pure. Placement to perfection. Movement off the ball. Has to be one of the goals of the season for the switchbacks. Everyone understands the role playing between lines. Kuzminski will try to stop it. Palais to tie it, well done. Level again here at Pioneer Stadium at two right before the half. A little stutter step to hop right before he kicks it. Sends Kuzminski the wrong way. Picks the spot and executes it to perfection. Palais, and we mentioned to Joe, you get him going, you get him seeing the ball hit the back of the net, you get him confident. Tejada. McGee for the second time tonight! Tyreek McGee blasts one, and the switchbacks are ahead for a third time. For the Oakland Roots, you see Tarek Murad gets pulled apart. Him and Gomez caught on the same side. That's a big no-no for center midfielders. But take nothing away from this fantastic finish from McGee. Limited amount of sympathy from anybody for the referee. Let's see who takes this free kick. Brian Olosky, he does, and he finds Twine! That was an absolute bullet mark the top right-hand corner. Brian Olosky on the board. Orange County SC with the early advantage. It's 1-0. It's in Orange County, but look how he bends us over the wall. Does it remind you of a certain player it playing does. for Inter Miami? It certainly does. <laughs> over the wall, bend, dip, and there's no way... Second minute. Looked like there was a couple guys that were offside for Orange County. Flag was not up. That ball ends up in the back of the net. Owen Lamb with a rocket with the right foot on the board. And Orange County has extended their advantage to two. Second great goal that Trey Muses watch go past, but he wins the header to starboard. Look at the way he finishes that. He had the assist midweek. 
for the Milan Alonski goal. This time around, he says, you know what, let me see if I can finish. Even better when you see it behind.